Hi all. Let's discuss about percentage sampling transformation in SSIS. So this transformation helps us to get subset of records from the original data set. So though that subset is going to be depend based on the percentage mentioned in the percentage sampling transformation. So let us assume it. So the original number of records in the original data set is 1000. So with the help of the percentage sampling, you can specify how much percentage of the records you want from the original data set. So if you specify 10%, then out of 1000, you will be getting 100 records. So this percentage sampling really useful uh, during the data mining. The percentage sampling gives you the two outputs. One is a selected percentage sampling output. The other one is unselected percentage sampling output. So by using this percentage sampling transformation, you will be getting randomized subset of, from the original data set and the randomized subset may vary one execution to another execution then the number of records which is given by the percentage sampling may vary between the execution to execution if you want to fix the same number of records and same records every in every execution then you have to specify a seed property in the percentage sampling transformation now let me show you how to implement a percentage sampling transformation in SSIS. Let me go to SQL Server Data Tools. I just dragged and dropped the OLEDB data source, which are of having some customers data. So this is the sample data, which are of having thousand records with around some six to seven columns. So now let me drag and drop the percentage sampling from the SSIS toolbox. So let me connect with the percentage sampling and let me configure a percentage sampling. So here, this is a place where I will be putting the percentage. Here I cannot specify the number of rows. I can specify only percentage. Let us assume it. I have a original records of 1000. If I specify 10, I will be getting 100 rows because 100 is the 10 percentage of 1000. And so one more point here is, so in each and every execution, you may or may not get the 100 records. Sometimes maybe less, sometimes maybe more. So it, it again, it depends on the operating system randomized numbers. So that is the behavior of the percentage sampling transformation. So as discussed, you will be getting two outputs. One is the sampling selected output. The other one is sampling unselected output. And as discussed, this is a property where you can select the seed. If you enable this property, so as discussed, you will be getting same output every execution. So for time being, I'm not going to select that property. Let me click on OK. Here on the top of the original data set, I am planning to get only 10%. Let's click on OK. Let me take you to the output. So rather than configuring a destination every time, so let me take you one dummy transformation and let me enable data viewer on the top of it. So when I try to link with the destination, it will ask you what output you want to configure for the first. So I'm configuring selected output. So second, I'll configure the unselected. So that, that is the only output I have. It automatically the other one. So now let me enable a data viewer to observe the output. Here also output. Okay, so now this selected output will be containing the 10% of the rows and the remaining one is the unselected output. So at the end, if I club the output between these two, then obviously, yes, I'll be getting the same source data. Let me run this. Right. So this is the unselected output. This is the selected output. Let me run this. So let me also run this. Okay, so let me close this. If you see here, out of 19,820 rows, around 2,000 rows, it went to this and the other remaining rows it went to the unselected output. So this is how percentage sampling transformation works in SSIS. If you want a fixed output every time as discussed, let's use the seed property. Let's select the seed property and you can select, you can keep the seed number as well. Click on by default is one, you can go with it and let's run this. So now, it will give you the same number of records and same records every time because seed property has been set. So now currently you have 2022 rows here in this selected output. If you run next time also, you'll be getting 
same number of records and same records will be get will be getting because of the seed property so this is how we configure the seed property in the percentage sampling that's it thank you for watching